as expected, things are happening rather quickly. Check this out. Now, I'm not going to play this video so as to prevent a copyright strike, but if you either watch the video or scroll under it, they actually uh, were kind enough to put the uh, transcript to the video underneath, uh, you're going to see something if you have eyes to see it. Now, as you may know, I made a video on Wednesday that openly exposed the pagans running the United Nations. That video is only four minutes long and well worth the watch, as it does show how the United Nations use their power, their influence, and cash on hand to literally build and promote three pagan gods in grand display for everyone to bow to. Well, everyone in their circle of deception, that is. As was also illustrated in that same video was the absolute and rock-hard connection of the United Nations with the Vatican and Rome, wherein paganism has always been uplifted and promoted as the norm, to the point, in fact, that the prelates in the Church of Rome had no problem admitting in writing that they merged paganism with Christianity to create what we now call Catholicism. Now that all that has been said, notice this about the man on the screen right now that heads up the United Nations that is calling for global unity of all the nations of the world. Now keep in mind before I share this, the popes in Rome have been doing everything they can for centuries to get to this point and have been admitting in writing in their infamous Jesuit oath that they will kill anyone refusing their political advances, be they in the church or outside the church, doesn't matter to them. Since the end is finally in sight, Satan, who was running scared knowing his time is short, has them now forging ahead ever so stealthily with their plans for a new world order in this video. Since we all know how most nations have already bowed to the Pope, this is going to happen. In other words, the majority of the nations have already spoken and have declared their loyalty to Rome. And so the holdouts will look around. They're either at war or about to be at war or about to see their leaders replaced to make sure this is going to happen for Rome's dying God. And just so you know, since the Vatican II Council, the Pope demanded all prelates to focus heavily on infiltrating and forcing all Protestant churches to join with them, just as the prophecy predicted long ago. We also know that as of June 26, 2000, the One World Church did in fact form with the Pope as the elected leader of it. As a matter of fact, they made mention of that the year prior in writing. And so they right now have gained the loyalty and worship of all Protestant leaders, including the Seventh-day Adventist General Conference. And thanks to the latest cog in the wheel being set firmly in place right here in America, wherein all 501c3 churches have created their prophesied image of the beast in Rome so as to help the Pope bring about those national Sunday laws, it's a no-brainer that the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres steps up on camera within exactly one year of being elected to demand in a very gentle format wherein we all know, by looking back in historic record, how Rome works, and when they talk like this, that actually means do it or die, every nation on earth must now put into play their final orders regarding the unification of all nations under their long-prophesied New World Order. Now, are you sitting down? There is a nail in this coffin of deception that most missed back when this man was elected to head the United Nations on January 1st of 2017. Now, just to summarize the facts presented here and what I brought up in my last video, the Vatican is, in fact, the Whore of Babylon. In a student's prophecy, we know that Babylon is pagan in origin to the point of hating the Christian God of the Bible. Just by looking into the news over the last year alone, we also discovered that since this man took office in the United Nations, and this is what my last video was about, he has funded the erection of literally three pagan gods to be placed before the people of the world as gods that he is proclaiming are worthy of worship. Because you just don't fund such things like that and promote them as he did unless you actually plan to declare them worthy of worship. And just so you know, to date, no other UN Secretary General of the United Nations has ever done what this man did. And now get this. According to the Roman Catholic Church and more than a few of their officially endorsed church offices, this man that heads up the United Nations, who has declared three pagan gods are worthy of worship, who is right now declaring a need for a one world government, is in fact a devout Roman Catholic. Thank you for watching. God bless.